This tutorial covers how to share SRVs directly from the Spark Pro app at the time you upload the SRV to the cloud. When you create an SRV, it shows up in this lower queue, the most recent one furthest to the left. Touch the Cloud button here to upload an SRV. When you touch Submit, you'll see a list of videos in the SRV queue that have not been sent to the cloud yet. If an SRV in the app has a green cloud icon, then it is already in the cloud and you can't send it to the cloud again. You'll also notice this message saying, this list only contains videos of 75 megabytes or less. The size will likely increase in future versions of Spark Pro. Here's where you can input an email address and confirm it of the person you want to share the SRV with. You'll notice no email address is pre-populated here. If you want your client's email to be pre-populated, be sure you have included your client's email in his profile data. We can do that quickly by canceling out here, touching the client profile icon here, adding the email address, and clicking Done. Now you'll notice, when you go to upload the SRV, the email address is pre-populated. You can always touch in here to change to another email address if you like. Or you can erase the emails completely if you simply want to send the SRV to the cloud and not share it with anyone at this time. But here, the email is pre-populated. The last field you must complete is entering your client's first name here. Here is the e-commerce option when you upload an SRV. If you want to charge your client a fee to view and download the SRV you created, you can enter that price here. By entering a price, your client will be directed to a secure online credit card transaction before they can view or download the SRV. In the earlier tutorials on cloud functionality, we showed you how to configure and enable your optional e-commerce servers. So, if you want to charge your client for your SRV, you check this box and then enter the price here. In previous tutorials, we also showed you how you can share SRVs and charge for them if you like, by logging directly into the cloud. In this example, I will not input a price. Now, select the SRV you want to upload and click Done. When the upload is complete, you'll notice your email pops up. It has some standard text and you have the ability to edit that text as you see fit. It's important to note you should not change the email address prior to sending the email, nor should you try to CC anyone. The link you see, here, is a link to the SRV in the cloud. The link is specifically tied to this email address. Only the person with this email account can initially open and unlock the SRV in the cloud. This is for security reasons. Once the intended party has unlocked the SRV, they will be able to download it from the cloud and share it with whoever they want at their discretion. It is also important to note, in order to use this functionality, your email on your iPad must be enabled. When you're ready, touch Send to send the email and link. You will get a success message. In the earlier cloud tutorials, we showed you how to share an SRV from the cloud by logging into cloud.sparkmotion.com. In the next tutorial, we'll show you how your client can create a free video share account at Sparkmotion.